All right, everybody, welcome back to Ask the Animator. Today, I'm joined by Hobo525. Thanks for coming on, Hobo. Yeah, no problem. I'm really glad to be here. I've been wanting to come on your news show for a while. Yeah, so I have two questions for you today, and then we'll get into the Ask the Audience questions. The first one is, you know, you know, we're working on, you are working on a lot of different projects right now. Of course, uh, Act 2 of the MVU and a bunch of Lego animations, as well as a lot of non-stop motion videos. Uh, is there a project or video you're most excited about working on or releasing? Reading. That is a tough one. Like, there's not really anything specific. I- most excited for in terms of like i don't know lego like like there's a lot of stuff for lego i'm working on so i'm just gonna say what i'm excited for in terms of the mvu in terms of that uh i'd say i'm excited to release my most anticipated one to release is avengers negative or the sequel to iron man and war machine which i already wrote that script so but in terms of in terms of what i'm excited for those are definitely the projects i really want to get out okay and uh, the second one I am going to ask you kind of ties into what you said about the Lego stuff. So I noticed on your Instagram you've been releasing a lot of short clips and tests uh, on your uh, on your Instagram and channel, uh, primarily about like Captain America I saw in some of them, and then a Batman one. Are these uh, like foreshadowing for future projects or just kind of random tests? So honestly, there were projects I wanted to work on. But I either just didn't have enough time or I just lost motivation for them. But, I mean, they're good practice. Like, yeah, it's just good practice for me improving as a Lego animator. So I'm hoping with some more, I guess, Marvel Lego related projects, um, I want to be able to do one that I actually can finish. Because, I mean, I've been doing a lot of improving in terms of animations, in my opinion. Like, I've been adding smoother movements, uh, lip sync having the characters blink which brings them to life so hopefully i'll be able to make like a project that's at least like seven or eight minutes long with um like just what i've been improving on yeah i really noticed all the improvements so far especially like the lip syncing and the blinking stuff i think it looks really good you know it's always just good to have practice animations and stuff to work on So uh, I guess we'll just get into the Ask the Audience questions. If you're watching this and uh, you want to be a part of the next uh, video, you can go onto my Instagram, whoever the next person I'm interviewing, and you, the audience, can always just type in questions you want to ask that animator about their projects or about just whatever they're working on. So uh, we're going to get into these questions now. The first two are from Aqua Studios. And uh, the first question is, for Act 2, how are you approaching these projects? So I guess that's kind of just a general question. I don't know. So at first, they were going to be films. But unfortunately, I planned this during the summer. So having school and work, I can't really make a ton of like 30 minute or like even like an hour film like HVA was at this point in my life. So I'm just thinking of continuing the MVU with like shorts and whatnot or like parts, but I don't really see how I could do a ton of films and, you know, get them out in a certain amount of time. Yeah, that actually kind of tied to a later question asked by someone else. So, yeah, I understand. Of course, everybody's really busy at this time of year. And especially when, like, school and work starts back up for everybody. Don't have as much time as we did in summer. Exactly. Uh, And then their second question is, why did you ditch the Beatle character? He was hot. So the reason I did I did Beetle was because, I mean, just copyright stuff. I don't want like a copyrighted character to be like an avatar for myself. If, if I want like an avatar for myself or something to represent me, I want it to be something that really isn't copyrighted, like a logo or even like a new avatar or something like that. But it's just that the Beetle really wasn't working out for me. And uh, yeah, um, I don't really plan on bringing him back. Yeah, it's kind of similar with me. I'm starting to slowly get out of the, the Moon Knight stuff and slowly changing into that weird luchador mask I have because I feel like it's more of a... Oh, like, yeah, I've noticed that. It I sticks out more. Stuff. But... Uh, so the next question is from Star Wars Collector, and he asks, when can we expect some type of tease of footage from Hercules or for Hercules? That's a that, that's a tough one. Um, I haven't filmed it for a while, but I definitely have enough footage to make a teaser i just have to get back with my voice actors i like with their lines and stuff but honestly 
like maybe December or early 2022. I'm just not sure though. I don't want to like say a release date and not have it uh, yeah. come through. So I'm not really That's sure. Excellent. Well, I hope that answers your question, SARS Collector. Uh, this one's from 44 Studios. It's not very MV related. It's just what is your favorite Lego set? Favorite Lego set? That's a tough one. Um, I'm just gonna just say a random one I'm looking at right now. Uh, probably the Hulkbuster set from it's like a 2015 one of Hulk versus Hulkbuster from the Age of Ultron movie. I really oh, love yeah, that I set. That. Yeah, the Hulk big fig is great, and just the build of the Hulkbuster was amazing to play with when I was younger. So. That's it for now. All right. Uh, the next one is from all for flicks. Uh, at this point, I didn't have many questions, so I just include this one. It's, why is he a hobo? I guess that could kind of be how you got your name, I guess, if you want to interpret it that way. Yeah, I think I'll do that because I'm not actually homeless. Um, I <laughs> I think it was just like when I was in third grade and I was in school and I was playing like some computer game in class and I thought the word hobo was funny or something. So I made my, I made that my username in the game and then I just added five to five because why not? So, I mean, yeah, I mean, I've been having this, I, I, sorry, I've had this name for like 10 years now. So that's why I use it for my channel. Wow. Well, that's actually a pretty great way, great way to uh, get the name. So I hope that somewhat answers your question, Oliver. Um, so this, uh, second to last question is from spider dude. So this one kind of ties into what you said before, but he said, besides act two, what other, uh, plans you have for the MU, like short, similar to America, Captain America and Ant-Man. So I do want to do more short. Is that what you're asking? Just like, if I want to do more shorts. Yeah. Like, how are you, I guess, yeah, something like that, I guess is what he's trying to ask. Like, I guess I would only do shorts if I'm able to balance, like, the essential projects, like, more Avengers projects, or maybe some X-Men stuff, or Captain America, or whatever. But shorts would only come if I have, like, enough time to really make them. Like, I wanted to make an X-Men Christmas special about a year ago, but I just never really got to it, and stuff like that. But I'm not really sure if I would do, really do shorts like that. Yeah, because, you know, there's only a certain amount of time you have to animate, so you kind of want to focus on, like... The big stuff, I guess, first. Exactly. And then this last one is from Ram Studios. Um, I guess we've kind of already s- somewhat gone over this in the interview, but he says, are you going back to Lego Stop Motions or not? I am. I'm going to try and do Lego and action figure stop motions. Like, the thing of Lego is, I mean, I've, I've done action figure stop motions for, I'd say, three years. I think that I think that's about right. But with Lego, I've done that for, for seven, almost eight. It's like, it's like since 2014, mm-hmm. I have way more experience. And honestly, I think I'm a lot better with Legos or Lego than action figure stop motions. And I just have a lot more fun making them. Like, I still want to do action figure ones. But I think Lego is where I want to, like, dedicate um, the most time to. All right. Well, I hope that answered everybody's questions who asked again. Uh, if you want to participate in the next Ask the Audience, whenever I interview the next animator, just be sure to keep an eye out on my story when I ask for questions, and you can be featured in the next video. So uh, everybody go check out Hobo, check out his channel, his Instagram. He's always posting great videos, and thank you again for coming on, especially at short notice. I yeah, really thank you for having me, Crescent. I really um, enjoyed this video. All right. Well, I'll, I'll cut it there. So-